Hi, this is Sean from BobK CAM Technical Support, and today I'm going to take you through using the cross section function. Please note that cross section is one of the most powerful surfacing functions that we have in the software and allows for almost unlimited methods of creating complex surfaces. In this example, we're actually creating a vase using circles. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find where our cross section function is located. You will always find cross section located here under surfaces, cross section. It can also be found by pulling this menu down and selecting cross section. Please note up in the upper left hand corner of the function it's actually going to go ahead and show you a very basic example of using the cross section feature. In this case it's showing that it's using half circles to create a very complex looking shape. In this case we're actually using circles so we're going to go ahead and follow how it shows for us to go through from side to side. Now in this case I'm actually going to shift and left click and just confirm that you see what arrow direction it is facing so as we go along we actually want to match from each profile to each profile that arrow direction. So we're going to go ahead and shift and left click and just follow along as we go through. Now that we have confirmed all of our arrow directions, we can go ahead and right click and hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and explain why it is important to make sure that our arrows face in the same direction. If the arrow faces in the opposite direction, what you're going to end up doing is getting a twist in your surface. And in this case, we do not want a, sh a twist. We want a nice streamlined vase. And in some cases, the twist can help you. And you can experiment and see what you can get away with with twist as you're going through and you're kind of learning this function a little bit more and depending on the geometry that you're using. So all we have to do is right click and hit OK. It's going to go ahead and show you a preview of the surface that you can expect on the second confirmation. As you can tell as we rotate around it looks like a vase and it looks like the geometry that we're looking for. So now that we've confirmed that we're getting the geometry that we would expect and that we were hoping for, we can right click and hit OK. And that's going to confirm. It's going to go ahead and generate that surface for you. And now we have the vase feature created in the software.